the final d- drama on our list is Witnesses, the French drama, Channel 4. And I only watched that this morning, but I have very little memory already of, of what happened in it. So I don't know if one of you two want to that, take that's sort fascinating. of premise of it. That's not shall what I, I thought you'd say about this Shall I take all? this one? Yeah. Although I won't be able to do names. This is basically... Um, no! <laughs> no, I know. Shocking. A fairly new-to-the-area female detective is put onto okay. a... Very strange case where someone is leaving recently deceased bodies in a in show homes. So basically digging up corpses of people who died recently and leaving them in in these kind of homes where people are being shown around. So two, two of the main people involved had committed suicide. And there's a link to a detective or a judge. I think it's slightly different in France. They're called lead judges and things like that, uh, where his picture was left at one of the homes and he himself he a has had a brush. He was a policeman, wasn't he? He was a policeman. That's yeah. right, yeah, although they call them so different. And he'd had a brush with suicide. There was a, a hint that perhaps he had committed suicide well, or he's, attempted he, to... He, he's in a rehabilitation home following the car crash which killed his wife. That's and, right, yeah. No, it and... wasn't. No, it wasn't, um, wasn't. I don't think it was the car crash that killed his wife. I thought his wife died and then he had a car crash. But anyway, he's um, become a recluse, but he's kind of come out of that reclusive state because of this case. Um, and but again, and so tra- it's worth... He, a- yeah. he trained the young trained girl that you mentioned. That. And yeah. also, the, there's a massive secret there, because um, yes. because maybe he didn't have a car crash. He's also the only person that I've ever seen in a TV drama have their car accident photo by their bedside in the rehabilitation home, which she... Well, again, (laughs) that's... that's The link to Nordic Noir is very good, is very Mm. strong, you know, the link to the... The main character has OCD, uh, it's fair to say, she's a neatness freak, um, and... Not on the level of old Zog and Orin, though. The other thing that I found fantastic about it, this and I, I really loved it and I'm, I'm already you know trying to find out if I can watch next week's episode early the aerial shots in this episode the were things he picks out- up on fascinate me Bandy. I want to sit I don't want to do the podcast anymore I want to sit next to Gary while he watches something because Matt's completely forgotten the plot and he's watching I the sky seen. it was something I haven't seen in such a long time they were almost I, I, like I watched the sky at the end episodes. when when they when he went up in that cable car thingy. At the end of the first episode, as you say, they were, they, it does end on a, um, a a cliffhanger of an attempt. To oh, well it. done, well done. He's in a cape. Oh, that doesn't work, damn it. Um, I can love I just, this. It fascinated. I loved it too, and it fascinates me, Matt, that you didn't that you that it didn't stick I with you. I, you I, didn't, I, liked, you didn't I like think it. I liked it when it was on. I didn't dislike it. I just I don't know. It just hasn't stuck with me in the way that you know those. Those other shows. I mean, I have packed a lot into the past sort of 24 hours, and I've basically watched everything we've talked about uh, in the last 24 hours. So, but this is the uh, one that probably stuck with me the least. I found you it know. incredibly atmospheric. Yeah. I found I, I, it yeah, intriguing. Yeah, no, I didn't dislike it. It just I, I, the plot really hasn't sort of stuck with me. Now, you know, once you've sort of mentioned it, the stuff with the show home, the bodies. I think it is a unique. Thing and it's a very original premise. But they're both builders as well, the two guys, so there's a connection there and things like yeah. that. And um, there's uh, sort what, of the odd... Great... Mm. Go on. I was just saying there's like an odd feeling to this town as well. It almost sort of feels like mm. sort of yes. almost something like Twin Peaks as you probably are going to bring up at some point. Or... Well, oh, no, no, I didn't... We've got a whole podcast about about it. It. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I definitely watched another episode. It just really hasn't sort of stayed with me. I, I was a little bit worried, though, because we, we learnt from George Scott how things can turn on a sixpence and people can have mm-hmm. plants growing out of them. And yeah, no, I was a little of... bit worried as well. I, well, I tell you, because there was though, mention so. of the wolf. There was mention of a wolf several yeah. times. And I'm thinking, yeah. oh, please don't go Twilight on me. You know, I'm enjoying it. I think Channel 4 have perhaps done the show a disservice. It did really well on in its native country. Uh, there's only six episodes. I'd have loved to have seen this go on uh, when Humans had finished on Sunday night. That's where The Returned was. Yeah. And I think they could have done quite well. I'm there. not sure this is a Sunday night drama. The subject matter... Nor was The Return. The Returned no. was hardly a Sunday night drama, you know. And, uh, I you don't know. know. I think a Sunday mm. night drama on Channel Four is different from is a anything. Sunday night drama elsewhere. I mean, Humans, who would you call could home, say, yeah. 
Absolutely. Oh, and Homeland wasn't exactly a... It's humans a, a Sunday some... night drama, Gary. It's a fair point. And <laughs> Homeland, Homeland as well, Fargo. None of the acquisitions oh. that they put on Sunday night were particularly Sunday nighty. Is that what, what you wear with your Sunday pyjamas, your Sunday night? Yes, unless I'm watching humans and I fall out of bed and out of my Sunday nighty. 